I didn't say do open houses. I didn't say door knock. All those things work, but you gotta pick your lane. You can't do 15 things. Simplify your process and go all in. This is do or die for me, if you haven't figured it out. This is all I do. I sleep, eat, and breathe. Uh, real estate agents. Not even real estate, to be honest with you. You know, there's a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different avenues and there's a lot of different, um, you know, there's real estate investing, there's real estate this, there's real estate that, there's a lot of things. Make sure everybody's muted. <clears throat> I'm like I'm like in a I'm like in a sub niche of a niche over here. <laughs> like real estate agents is a very small niche, guys. Think about this: 350 million people in the U.S., 1.5 million real estate agents. You know, and there's agents that come to me complaining about, you know, how am I going to break into this market? There's so many agents. Everybody's an agent. No, there's 1.5 million versus 350 million in the U.S. If you look at the pandemic last year, the 45 day period that the entire economy was shut down, we had 80% of the same amount of closings closing. Okay, well, those might've been already under contract. What's even scarier is we had 80% of the same amount of pending deals go pending during that time. So the, one of the scariest moments in the last 100 years, and we still have 80% of the same amount of people writing contracts and negotiating deals and ratifying offers. If that doesn't give you complete confidence in the market moving forward, regardless of what happens, that you have job security in terms of closings happening regardless, no human to human contact didn't stop closings or pending deals. Now I'm trying to tell you what the next thing is going to be and I hope you listen. I hope you've been listening to my content and my rhetoric for, for years really because I've been trying to, I, before the pandemic happened where it scared a lot of people, I was trying to prepare you guys for that moment by screaming at you every day. Closings happen every day. Business is unlimited. Competition doesn't exist. Relationships over transactions. Just screaming and pounding and pounding and pounding away to try to prepare you for that moment. I'm gonna continue trying to scream this at you to prepare you for the next moment. I'm always trying to prepare you because I don't want you guys to go through what I went through. I wish somebody would have told me that stuff back in 2003 and four when I was just doing deals and not even talking to that client ever again. Whatever agent has been in the market creating those friendships and relationships, helping people buy and sell along the way to build their, build their database and doing your weekly emails, Right? When, when a buyer or seller is asked, how did you pick your agent? Right? Now we're going, we're, we're kind of like the digital scene came on the, in the market, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, and consumers pick their agent randomly online there for a little while. But now we're, we're, we're swing, the sw it's swinging back towards who do I have a relationship with? Because they had a lot of, there's a lot of bad experiences with just picking a random agent. There's a lot of bad agents out there, guys. <laughs> Don't even collect data. Don't even collect data. Don't even do weekly email. Do nothing to build your personal brand. Just in this constant sales mentality. When you're in the sales mentality, you're only good as your last sale. You gotta wake up the next day and go sell again and again and again every day until you die. But when you build personal brand and you accumulate, when you accumulate clients and friendships and a database, Right? And these people know who you are. They get your content every week. They know your opinion on the market. They know what restaurants you like. They know what properties you sold. Thousands of people in your market know all that stuff about you. You have a large business. And you can accumulate these people five at a time, five at a time. Five new friends or property owners every day, 25 in a week, 100 in a month, 1,200 in a year, 24 in two years, 36 in three years, 48 in four years. In four years, you guys could all be one of the top agents in your market. Much like uh, I don't really have like the Google Sheet strategy like I, like I teach in my coaching program uh, anymore. Um, I, uh, but you know, I've got it right here. So like my pipeline right this second for deals I'm working on, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got like seven deals that's like either a listing or a buyer I'm kind of talking to. I'm just, I'm not like, you guys gotta understand, when you get to my point, 
to my level, every client is real serious about doing something. It's not like when you're new and you're talking to people you never met or, you know, referrals and past clients are way more serious. You know, when you're newer and you're just dealing with internet leads and you're cold calling people, you have this long pipeline of people and a lot of those fizzle out for the most part, you know, and it really condenses down to just, you know, real small percentage actually moving forward. When you get to where you're on this side of it, where it's past clients, referrals and referrals of referrals, there's a small percentage that doesn't do anything. Most everybody actually moves forward on stuff. And it's, it's, it's a, you know, you guys got to under, you know, you got to see the big picture here with all this, you know, it's like, it's like, I don't want to make calls. You don't have to make calls forever. You, did you hear what I said? You could do what I did in seven in 15 years in two years, knock it out, get it done. You know, it's okay. Think about four years down the road. When you have the type of business I have, when sellers are just calling you out of the blue, please sell my property. Put that work in, visualize four years from now. You're not gonna care what you made in 2021 and 2024. Put the work in right now for 2024 and I promise you, you'll have a huge 2021 as well. Short and long-term, short and long-term. <clears throat> not just long-term, not just short-term, short and long-term at the same time. Think about the simplicity here. Five new friends or property owners every day. Make a great first impression. If they don't want to sit by or sell, great. If they do, great. Either way it goes, I want to make a friend for life. I want to collect their data and send a weekly email every week on the same day of the week forever. Bam! I didn't say do video. I didn't say do social. I didn't say buy Zillow leads. I didn't say do open houses. I didn't say door knock. All those things work, but you got to pick your lane. You can't do 15 things. Simplify your process and go all in with what you feel, not what Ricky feels, what you feel is the most efficient activity that you can do. For me, it's like, why would I, you know, do social media and buy leads and do all this stuff to end up just developing a list of people I'm gonna call when I can just buy contact information of property owners for two cents by the thousands and just call them. It's not, a, it, that, none of this makes sense to me. I'm like in a bad dream or something where the industry's out here, you know, spending all this time, money and effort doing things just to come right back to just calling people. What you have to understand is that there's so many avenues to, to, to get leads, right? There's so many different ways. Okay. So when you look at all the different ways of lead generation, you know, from, a, from the big picture, you know, you can't do them all, correct? Mm -hmm. Right, there's like, let's just say there's 30, you know, or 20 or 100. You can't do all of them. So what you have to do is you have to, through your experience, like as you progress in your career, you have to pay attention to what's working and what's not working. And if you, if you think, if you're moving through and you, you test some things out and you realize, okay, I really like geo leads over here. And I like these geo leads better than these leads that the company's given me. Okay. But then the company sends you a lead in the middle of a geo lead session, you know, and you feel like you have to jump on that lead because they're going to give it to somebody else. If you don't respond in five minutes, is that correct? But if you gave yourself till five o'clock every day, by three o'clock, you're going to be going crazy. You're gonna be in super high intense mode to get everything done that you wanted to get done that day before five o'clock because you know that you're not working past five o'clock. And then you can enjoy the rest of the day. If, if, you, if you think, I'm telling you, if you guys take your life back, if you give yourself till five, you'll get the same amount of production done that you normally get done by nine. And then you've got from five till nine till whatever time you go to bed to actually enjoy your evening without business going on in your head, burning out your brain. And the next morning you wake up like a zombie because you're shot. You have to relax, you have to recharge and you can actually get the same amount of production done. Give yourself till 5.30, give yourself till six at the latest, get it done. But when you, when you quit responding so quickly to these situations, there are situations to respond quickly to, but there's a balance. When you quit responding so quickly to every little thing and you start knocking off work at a normal hour, 
your quality of life improves dramatically. Uh, even in the beginning when I didn't value people, I was just looking at the money and the closings. That was still not a bad move because I was testing. I was trying to figure it out and I learned from that. You know, if I would have just came right into the business and, you know, knew everything I know now, who knows how it would have all turned out, you know, because I didn't have any failures to really base it on. Um... I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I can't say any mistakes because like I say, all the mistakes ended up being incredibly positive times for me.